Hello. Yeah, all right. Oh, the incident I'm going to tell you about today, I can remember very well. Summer of 1971, and it was in all the national newspapers. Notably, it was in the News of the World and the Titty Bits magazine, and also 137, page 137 of the uh, Tividale Tiddler, the weekly newspaper we used to get in Tividale, uh, all about Birch Crescent and a big... Uh, Big sex scandal were happened summer of nineteen seventy one. I, I remember it so well. We just got married, uh, July nineteen seventy one, and we was living in a new house, which we was very proud of at Amblecote. And I was still visiting my nan and granddad at Birch Crescent, number fifty four, Tividale Hall Estate, a lot. Um, and I remember my nan telling me, she said, uh, oh, Paul, it's dreadful. She said, uh, a French flues has moved into number 69. It's terrible. She's um, she's one of them ladies of the night, eh, she? Fifi Simone, me no la chat. Uh, I were for, from Tividale originally. I come from um, Braliel, I think it was. and uh, But her uh, mum and dad was French. They was a member of the Cajun community down in Dudley Port, were they? So she moved into number 69, and uh, by day she was a puddling apprentice at the Vono. But at night she offered, um, how can I put this delicately, um, special services to all her male clients. And when she moved in as an opening offer that summer, one-off special opening offer. A notice went up in a front window and it read, Ask for what you want in just three words and it'll only cost you a fiver. But it must be three words. Ask in three words for what you want and you'll get it for a fiver. July offer only. Well, Big Harry. Now, Big Harry lived at number 20 Birch Crescent. He went in and uh, Fifi said to him, she said, what is it you would like, mon chéri? In three words, you get what you want for five pounds. So he said, uh, beat me hard. Three words. Beat me hard, he said. Now he come out three hours later and he was limping and he had a black eye, but he had a great big satisfied smile on his face. He looked very happy with himself. Now Jim, Jim lived at number 33 Birch Crescent and he went in and Fifi said, Mon chéri, what is it you desire? Remember three words, just three words. And you get what you want for five pounds. Remember, I shall say this only once. So Jim said, Make me weak. Well, four hours later, his brother fetched him home in a wheelbarrow. He was absolutely worn out. Now then, Wilf Clegworthy lived at number 41 Birch Crescent. And he wore from Tividale originally. He was from Yorkshire and he was noted for being very, very mean. He never spent any money when he could help it. He worked as a welder for British Rail. He worked at uh, Dudley Railway Station. His job was putting the lids on the meat pies. So everybody was behind twitching curtains and they were so surprised to watch Wilf the Scrooge call in at Fifi's, at number 69. Now then, Wilf, mon petit chou, what is it you want? Remember, say it in three words, whatever you want in three words, it will cost you just five pounds, said the glamorous Fifi. Uh, she was dressed provocatively, in a in in a in a in a negligee thing what's name a negligee it was a diaphanous wore it uh, uh, a negligee you could see a vest underneath and Wilf smiled and he nodded and he said 
Paint me house. So that are a bit. Stay out that Oss Road. It's busy, busy. Thank you, Mother, for the palings and also them uh, roasted ptarmigan pies I sent. They was really nice. I could tell there was local ptarmigan and pensnet piccalilli with them. It was really nice. That was busting. I'm going down to the church tonight. I'm having a question and answer session and there's something puzzling me, so I'm going to ask the vicar to explain it to me. Um, the, the, the thing that's puzzling me and keeping me awake at night is if, if Jesus... You know, Jesus, if Jesus comes from the Holy Land, why has he got a Spanish name? Don't understand, don't you? Ta-da a bit. I'll see you soon. Take care. Ta-da!